everybody, Mabel Max here from Geauga County Tourism. Mark your calendars, May 7th is our annual Spring Drive It Yourself Tour. Lots of great fun. You can get your free tour map by calling us at 440-632-1538 or check it out on our website at tourgeauga.com. Hope to see you here. Going to be a lot of fun. Let's go back to uh, this 1977. And you killed Judith Straub and Bill Levecko at uh, close range. And that was they were in Akron. They were in Akron here with a couple. In Norton. Why? You didn't even know them, did you? Oh, yes, I knew them very well. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, knew them very well and uh, had uh, told him on uh, different occasions that uh, if he did not stop making eyes and fooling around with my small children and being around them that he was going to end up getting hurt and after about the fourth to fifth time I explained that to him I told him I said I'm going to tell you something Bill I'm going to kill you if you do it one more time and it just so happened that Judith uh, Judith was a prostitute she used, when we used to go up town in, in, in uh, 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 now I can't think of it, up, right up in Wayne County. You were downtown there, there, that way. No, we were living in, uh, in Wayne County, uh, right out Route 21. I can't think of the name of the little town up there. But we used to go up there and shoot pool and uh, everything, and she'd be out in the car making money with prostitution and stuff like that. Well, I did not expect her to be with him this particular night. She was, it was dark, she did not recognize me, I know she didn't, and I told her to stay in the car, I wanted to talk to him. And I said, please, it was about, one, about three o'clock in the morning. And Doylestown is where I was, we were living, uh, this happened. And uh, so I was over there with Bill, talking to him, telling him, and then she insisted to be there. She got out of the car, come on over. And then at that time, Bill told her, says, look, Wayne, there's $500 in her purse in the car. If you want money, why don't you just get it? I said, Bill, do you know what you just did? And at that, that moment, I shot him and killed him. What he just did was tell her who I was. And she started to run. I told her to stop. I wasn't going to shoot her or kill her. Because I only had a single, single gauge shotgun. she come back by the time I had one, another one I put in and I shot her, but I didn't threaten her. Uh, Tell her I was going to say I didn't even give reasons for him. There was no threats. There was no pleading and things like this here. Okay, what happened with uh, Kelly Drew and Tim Hack in Jefferson, Wisconsin? Was that was rape, right? That was what? Rape? Hell no, it wasn't rape. I've never raped anybody. Well, that's a, they found semen. No. Uh, first of all, the girl and I, Kelly, we knew each other, okay. I had I was doing work up there at the uh, they were the dance hall and the bar and and everything at are at and uh, doing carpentry work and rebuilding. My son was helping me, but we lived uh, about three or four miles away in a farmhouse that we had rent had rented. And uh, Kelly and I had been together. It was a wedding reception. And the boy, the man, he was inside, he was arguing over a tractor, he was into tractors, tractor poles and expensive tractors. He was in there arguing and she didn't want to hear it, she came on out and I was out in the bars right next door. We went on over to the car and uh, we had our fun. Uh, Sexually? Yes. And uh, so we, she went on back. And as she went around the corner to go into the uh, reception hall where the, 
he was coming out and they started arguing. And this arguing, it progressed, oh, a couple hundred feet down toward the end, the end of the building. And now there was no lights down there or anything. And he had pushed her. And so I had walked over. And at that time, uh, it was kind of obvious to him that I was the reason why she, where, where she, he didn't know where she was. And uh, he pushed her again, she went down, and I hit him in the neck, real, very hard. I, I was a husky man then, and we're talking about 1980. And uh, in the neck here, the rabbit punch. Uh, but anyways, he went down, and he stayed down. And I'm bent over to see here. I mean, because I, I didn't mean, I didn't, I, my intent was not to kill him. It was just get him off of her and get him away from me. Well, as it worked out, then she started piling on me. And she's talking about he's dead, he's dead. And she started smacking me and everything. So I ended up choking her uh, right there. And that's where they both died. But I didn't leave them there. I, let, they, they were, I pulled them back away from the any body because there was nothing there. It was all cows and everything out in there and woods and I went down not the front way but around the back way got my van brought it back around the back way got them in the put them in the uh, van and and drove off and exposed them in a uh, cornfield now she was not raped and that's how that come about but you had sex with her yeah I had sex with her on oh, Five or six occasions. Okay. Wasn't there a better way to deal with that situation? Explain to police that that he had attacked you and you had acted in self-defense. No. Uh, it, when uh, I first of all was having sex with her, uh, I had a family, had five children. And uh, you were cheating on your wife, then your family. Yes, yes. And uh, I had a record from way back, nothing there. But then uh, uh, I also had that double murder there in Norton. They didn't know about. But no, that that was for my lifestyle and everything. No, I just killed two people. No way in hell was I about to call the police up because I wasn't from there and. Uh, uh, I'd have been convicted.